Using our software engineering excellence framework, NTT Data help businesses to understand the true value of software delivery. From our deep experience across clients, industries and geographies, we know that engineering excellence in digital delivery results in higher NPS, increased revenue, quicker speed to market and lower operating costs. However, traditionally there has been a gap between the measurement of operational and engineering KPIs and commercial outcomes. To link commercial outcomes and technical delivery, organisations need value metrics. Five key indicators of delivery and commercial performance intelligible to business, technical and delivery stakeholders. We create value metrics by integrating your existing tools and toolchain into RC framework, which we configure to expose data from your delivery engine. As we build the C framework in a modular fashion following engineering best practice, we can display value metrics for a single team, a team of teams, or to see the true impact of technical delivery on commercial outcomes, a value stream. Now let's have a look at our five value metrics, starting with value distribution. We categorize work into four simple types, features, defects, security or compliance risks, and technical debt resolution, which is key to ensuring future agility. By understanding the actual flow of value across these four work types, organizations can assess the extent to which actual prioritization decisions across a value stream support the organization's intended strategy. Furthermore, by correlating work delivered with commercial outcomes, this metric allows teams to understand where they can add the highest value. Value distribution is a critical, real-time assessment of prioritization decisions that ensures the quality and stability of work and value delivered. Value time measures the time taken to progress work through the various stages of delivery. Specifically, it measures the average elapsed time it takes for items to move from the point a decision is made to start work on the items to the point they are available in production and delivering value to customers. Value time differs from partial measures such as commit to deploy by providing a complete picture of your average speed to market. Value time includes activities such as requirement elaboration, experience design and test driven development activities. Value time only concludes when a feature is live and delivering value. Value time is an essential measure of pace to market, a source of key organisational differentiation. Value time, though, is a lag metric. You only know how long it takes work items to flow through the system once they have been deployed to production. Value traffic measures the average amount of work in progress within the system. It is correlated to value time. The more work in progress, the higher the likelihood it will take longer to complete the work. That's why value traffic is a leading indicator. The higher the value traffic indicator is today, the slower the pace of delivery will be in the future. For teams to minimise their time to learn and time to improve, value traffic gives a live view of how much work is in progress. Value efficiency measures the total active time versus total time for work items flowing through the system. Understanding the impact of wait states such as ready for review or blocked on the throughput of work is key to improving overall flow. Value efficiency complements value time. High value efficiency will indicate a low value time. To make value efficiency as easy to understand as possible, we express the ratio of active versus total time as a simple percentage. By measuring the average value efficiency of work progressing through the system, teams are able to assess the effectiveness of their continuous improvement initiatives and drive accelerated pace. Finally, value velocity gives stakeholders an opportunity to see how much work of each type is being completed and thus how much value is being delivered over time. We create value metrics by integrating your existing tools such as Jira and Jenkins into our C platform. Now let's see how simple this is and the immediate value we can bring with a short demo. Here you can see the metrics dashboard. First, we're going to look at value distribution, value efficiency and value time and how these correlate to commercial outcomes. As you can see here, our team have clearly been prioritizing new feature development. Here we see an example of low value efficiency across all ticket types, suggesting that there is a common issue with throughput. 
Our value time visualization shows us here that the average lead time is high across all ticket types. If we take a look at the commercial metrics dashboard for the same period, it's clear that both net promoter score and revenue are declining. After investigation, our team found that a defect caused by a previously deployed feature was severely reducing page load speed. They also decided to reprioritize a piece of technical debt that was reducing the speed of deployment and increasing value time. The team finished their two week sprint and as we can see, were able to complete all tickets including the reprioritized defect and technical debt. As we can see, value distribution has changed reflecting reprioritization of our page load defect and deployment debt. This has caused a visible improvement in value efficiency and value time over two sprints. By making these changes, we can see a clear correlation with commercial outcomes. Customers are happier, new features and improved products are delivered more quickly, and revenue has increased. So far we've seen how reprioritizing key pieces of defect and debt work can improve efficiency, speed to market, and business results. Now we're going to look at how changing how a team works based on the data can also improve commercial outcomes. Here we see a typical JIRA board representing a team's current sprint. Historically, the team's velocity was good, but as they took on more work, value velocity declined and value traffic increased. In the following sprints, the team took on less work and followed delivery best practices to reduce work in progress. As we can see, by taking on less work at once and by focusing on delivering quality, value velocity has increased, value traffic has reduced, and there has been an equivalent uptick in MPS as more features and more stable products are delivered to customers at greater speed. Hopefully we've been able to demonstrate how value metrics can be used as the crucial link between operational and engineering KPIs and business outcomes. So, to see the commercial impact of delivery excellence, improve products, get business, technical and delivery stakeholders to speak the same language, and have teams follow engineering best practice, speak to us about how we can quickly integrate your toolchain into RC framework.